Which batch of IAS are you? IAS, uh, because I have been, uh, I'm not a direct recruit of IAS. Okay. I'm, uh, uh, recruited as an MCS officer of 2007 badge. Just looking at you, you would look as if like you are a very young uh, oh. new officer <laughs> <laughs> or rather direct recruit, uh, you know. Every office in this field has an administrative department okay. in the secretariat. And each administrative uh, department, hmm. it starts from the section and goes up to the administrative secretary. And uh, you were STO Moirang? I was STO Moirang. Okay. I came to the secretariat very early. Mm -hmm. I joined as under secretary. Mm -hmm. Then I subsequently promoted mm. to deputy secretary and now I'm joint secretary. I studied architecture. I'm an architect. Oh, so I mean, it, wow. <laughs> I think it depends on what you really want to do. Mm -hmm. Like if uh, there's no point staying in a service or doing something where you're okay heart and soul is not there, then mm. if you don't enjoy your work, Uh, hello, Anna. Hello, sir. Mm. In fact, uh, I don't know, uh, I've been taking a little bit of time. Uh, we ha I have been uh, receiving a lot of, uh, you know, people requesting for letting us know not just about the police department's functioning and hierarchy. Okay. And they want uh, a lot on even civil departments. Okay. So I have covered uh, the directorate with Warshang. Yes, I've seen and that. Yes, I have covered uh, the, about the, D, uh, the district functioning also with uh, DC Howlin Lal and both, I, I, you know, in fact, both the officers were very, uh, you know, very helpful and uh, people also really received it well. And I was also recommended that uh, you would be the best person as far as the functioning of the secretariat and the hierarchy is concerned because you've been in the secretariat for very long. Yes. I think right now you're looking after? Uh, I'm Joint Secretary Finance okay. and uh, Joint Secretary DP and ACR mm -hmm. and also Director of Institutional Finance. Okay. And which batch of IAS are you? IAS, uh, because I have been, uh, I'm not a direct recruit of IAS. Okay. I'm, uh, uh, recruited as an MCS officer of 2007 badge. Mm -hmm. So when I got inducted into the IAS, I have been allotted 2016 badge. Okay, so uh, you are uh, like 2016 badge. But in the MCS, which badge were you? MCS two, 2007. Sir. 2007, okay. Yes. Uh, MCS 2007 badge. and uh, That's quite fast, the promotion. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> about the police, but I think in the civil <laughs> side, it's definitely faster. Yes, yeah, sir. We are lucky. Uh, uh, it's nice mm -hmm. and uh, I'm very happy. Uh, that uh, you know, like you go into the uh, this thing, uh, the IS is so fast. In fact, I mean, just looking at you, you would look as if like you are a very young uh, oh. new officer <laughs> or rather direct recruit. Uh, you know. I should say uh, thank you for the uh, compliment. I was told that uh, this basically the policy matters are uh, you know like uh, dealt by the officers in the secretariat, and yes. the directors are the ones who are essentially implementing, implementing. Yeah. Yeah. and so it's the same with the, the district administration yes. okay yes. so can you tell me something about like how the secretary how the hierarchy and the functioning is in the secretary because most of us I mean we are not very attuned to the way it is like who is dealing with what and how the channel goes on we don't know no? so okay. for a layman also it's very difficult okay. can you just highlight a bit okay. uh. Uh, secretariat basically is the uh, when we say the government approval or when you say government the secretary mm -hmm. represents the government mm -hmm. as in every department in the field be it uh, agriculture or horticulture, veti or even the district administration. Mm -hmm. Every office in this field has an administrative department okay. in the secretariat. And each administrative uh, department, mm. it starts from the section and goes up to the administrative secretary. Okay. So in the section, if you're climbing up, we have the dealing assistants mm -hmm. who are secretary assistants or senior secretary assistants, okay. ASOs and SOs. Mm. So till the SO level, they sit in the section. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like uh, for me, like I'm in the finance also. So, finance section mm -hmm. will have SO and below. Okay. Then above that, from the officer level, mm -hmm. we start with the under secretary. 
Okay. Then uh, first level is under secretary. Above the section, the first mm -hmm. level is under secretary. Okay. Then there is deputy secretary, then joint secretary, additional secretary, special secretary, and then the administrative secretary. Administrative secretary can be anybody from the rank of a secretary to commissioner or principal secretary or additional chief secretary. Okay. Once you reach the secretary level, mm. you're basically the administrative head of a department. Mm -hmm. So that is the hierarchy in the secretariat. Okay. So, uh, like, uh, uh, I mean, uh, can an IS be uh, an, an under secretary, or it, it, it's not necessary that? Uh, Say when it comes to posting, suppose an IS officer is posted immediately in the secretariat, does he start as an under secretary? It depends on which level he is joining in. If okay. he uh, entry level, if he joins before he reaches senior scale, okay, then he would join as an under secretary. Okay, that is as soon as they are recruited, the entry level mm -hmm. in the the secretariat equivalent is okay. the under secretary. Okay, but once they reach the senior scale, mm -hmm. uh, the difference between IS and mm -hmm. the MCS is that mm. would enter at under secretary level okay but our next promotion on our first promotion we are promoted to deputy secretary whereas for an is there is there's a jump okay so from under secretary once they are post uh, promoted to senior scale mm -hmm. they'll be joint secretary oh okay that is the basic difference the difference between <coughs> mcs and mm -hmm. uh, and the uh, ies okay but in the secretariat, it is not just the MCS and IES. We hmm. also have uh, MSS officers, Manipur Secretariat Service, Secretary service. service Officers. Yes. Huh. And uh, sometimes some finance service officers are also posted in the hmm. finance department as hmm. ex officio under secretary or deputy secretary depending on their level of okay. seniority. Okay, uh, that was quite enlightening. Uh, now, uh, can you uh, just, uh, you know, like uh, tell me uh, what is the equivalent of the joint secretary or deputy secretary in the directorate level or say even in the police also? Okay. I mean like the equivalent ranks. Okay. Uh, first I'll uh, do the comparison between the uh, secretariat and the directorate okay. like amongst the civil officers. Mm -hmm. I think we can also compare a bit with the field officers. Mm -hmm. So an under secretary in the secretariat would be mm. equivalent to a deputy director in the directorate. Okay, under secretary will be equivalent to deputy director in, in the, the directorate. directorate. Okay. And if you're posted in the district administration that is in the field, yeah. it would be an equivalent of an SDO. SDO, mm. okay. Subdivisional officer. Subdivisional officer. Yes, sir. Uh. So that is amongst the civil officers. Uh. And then a deputy secretary would be equal to a joint director uh -huh. or an additional DC in the field. Okay, ADC. Mm. ADC. Mm. Mm. Then joint secretary, would be a director level in the if you're posted in the directorate mm -hmm. or DC in the field. Okay. So uh, in the secretariat, once you uh, get promoted beyond that DC level, beyond this stage, mm -hmm. then there's no more posting in the field. So you have to come to the secretariat oh. because uh, director is the senior most in the directorate okay. and DC is the senior most in the district. Mm -hmm. So once you're promoted, then uh, you come mm. to the uh, secretary as either additional secretary, special secretary, or even mm. secretary, depending on your seniority. Mm. But uh, in the MCS and uh, IES, there is slight difference to up to which level you can be promoted. Okay. So in MCS, the senior most post that we can hold is secretary. Where else beyond that, commissioner, principal secretary, additional chief secretary, and sec uh, chief secretary, hmm. they are IES post. Okay. So that means uh, if you are an MCS officer, the highest that you can go uh, is up to the secretary. Up to secretary, but hmm. most of us, most of us, hmm. we get inducted at we the level inducted. of either joint secretary or oh. additional secretary. Okay. So very rarely we reach the secretary level. Hmm. We. Uh, laterally horizontally enter the IS thing and then mm -hmm. we get promoted in the okay. IS line so okay so oh, that's very interesting but like <coughs> okay uh, have you got any district posting so far as DC or something uh, not yet DC is a cadre post of the IS mm -hmm. so I was uh, promoted in 2019 and uh, vacancy of 2019 mm -hmm. although I have got allotment of 2016 since then I have been in finance so I have not been given a field posting yet but while I was at MCS, I was uh, SDO of Moirang for some time. 
so that means uh, as far as the field posting uh, that you have got is concerned that you were STO Moirang I was STO Moirang okay. I came to the secretariat very early mm -hmm. I joined as under secretary mm -hmm. and then I subsequently promoted mm. to deputy secretary and now I'm joint secretary okay you are joint secretary as of now how many um, uh, work allocations have you got I've been in finance department for a really long time. I ah. joined as under secretary finance. Okay. And then promoted to deputy <coughs> secretary. I was still in finance department. I took I a short break from okay. finance for a year. And I came back again in 2018. So I've been in finance since ah, then. You also, I've been given, along the way, I've been given additional posting of DP and ACR. Okay. But my finance has remained constant. Ah. Yeah, from the, I mean, like, uh, Commerce background or something? No, no. No. My background is absolutely different from okay, what I'm doing okay. right now. Well, uh, what is your uh, subject background? I mean, in college or wherever? I studied architecture. I'm an architect. Oh, <laughs> so I mean, it, wow. Because you're an architect. So, I mean, uh, uh, your, your place is very beautiful. and. Thank you, sir. No, I guess, but no, no, I but guess. I have not done it. No. no. I have given up architecture. I have left architecture long back. I have been in okay. service for more than 15 years. Oh, I was now. presuming that this would be your design uh, or something. Uh, no, no. I have left architecture more than 15 years back. I mean, okay. I have been in service for 15 years and ah. I left about two years before Lekin I joined the service. But design can design it. I mean, like. <laughs> no, no. A very good friend of mine designed it for me. Ah. I'm very happy with it. Okay. Well, this is pretty good. It's, it's very well done, you know. Mm. Mm. And a beautiful environment also. <coughs> So, I mean like from architecture to civil service, mm -hmm. uh, that's a, a quite a jump uh, in terms of, you know, out, uh, outlook and uh, a very radical change rather. Yes, sir. Um, I always have this hmm. hope that hmm. someday I'll be able to apply what I have learned, but so far <laughs> my posting has not allowed me okay. to apply what I have learned. Uh, it's, it's very interesting. I mean, I even me, you know, I'm, I'm from the commerce background, oh, I have so done BCOM honors, now. I'm an MCOM, uh, this thing master also, like, but where, wherever have I landed? I'm a police <laughs> officer. <laughs> <laughs> so wherever I go posting, like sometimes I used to visit the markets and the 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 public in general, and like little, little things that I could share, I tell them, look, you do this way, you do that way, you'll get better profit. <laughs> you <laughs> you put your shops somewhere here, where like you know, like there's more avenue for people to come and like buy from your shops like that. Now so things like that, I like I keep my own opinion. I don't know whether they take it or not. It's a different thing. But it's nice. We have people uh, of different professional background. <coughs> Let's say, I mean, it's not just architecture uh, background. We have, they have people with, uh, you know, like medical background. They are doctors, and there are engineers. There are, you know, like uh, people who have done. Uh, computer uh, applications and still join the civil service. So certainly, definitely yeah, actually there's some charm that's in it. Uh, yeah. That's the ch uh, no, one thing good about the civil service. Uh. <coughs> that is also one of the advantages or charms of what you can say about mm -hmm. civil service. Yeah. It is a level playing field where it does not differentiate between what you have studied, where you have studied. Okay. So we have people from all sorts, of, like Sir has mm -hmm. mentioned just now, we mm -hmm. have people from all sorts of background in the mm -hmm. civil services. Okay. So it gives us, uh, that's mm. why the uh, the service is like mm. that. We are expected to, mm. uh, we cannot choose our posting. We okay. can be posted anywhere. And I think that is one of the advantages mm -hmm. that we okay. have people from all fields. Uh. It does not prescribe a certain degree, a certain kind of degree that you have to be from a science background or you have to be from an arts mm -hmm. background. So that is not there. That's why we have people from all fields in true, the service. True, true. Uh, and that's what makes the, you know, like, uh, mm. The service so noble, you know. Yes. You can apply uh, even the the backgrounds that you have in the services that you are, because essentially ours is uh, people oriented, a uh, public service yes. oriented in yes. you know, a job on yes. visited. Now, essentially, the the hierarchy that you have mentioned, we have compared with uh, more or less with the districts and the directorates and the secretariat. Now, but like with comparison to the main police structure and the civil service structure. Can you elaborate further on that, like what is the equivalent of the Joint Secretary or the Secretary or the Commissioner to the police side? Okay. Mm. Uh, 
the between the civil and the police we can compare up to a certain level but mm -hmm. there is slight difference in the structure as you go up okay so uh, and under sec like in the civil we have under secretary deputy director and the sdo at one level okay so this is equivalent to a dsp okay or if you're posted in the field uh, stpo stpo, STPO. Mm -hmm. so that is the equivalent mm. then a deputy secretary mm -hmm. in the secretariat uh, joint director in the mm -hmm. directorate and additional DC in the uh, district administration is mm. equivalent to an <coughs> additional SP. Okay. Or a deputy commandant mm. if you're posted in the. So um, just like the DC and the SP, vice versa, is like yes. uh, at uh, more or less the same level. It's yeah. just that the DC is the head of the administration. Yes, sir. And the SP is the head of the police administration yes, in the so district. Yes, sir. <coughs> so the SP is equivalent in the civil service mm. would be the DC uh. or the director mm -hmm. or the joint secretary in okay. the secretary. So as we were saying about the uh, the DIG and uh, approximate equivalent. Uh. Approximate equivalent will be additional secretary, I think, in the hmm. secretariat. Okay. But uh, then above the IG in the police, there is IG. Okay. But for us, we have additional secretary and special secretary before hmm. you become uh, secretary. Okay. And these are uh, promotions at two-year level gaps. Okay. So you, there is no exact equivalent in the mm -hmm. police, in the All IPS. Right. Uh. Then uh, you become IG, this side we have uh, secretary, then commissioner. Okay. So I think IG would be somewhere at commissioner level. Commissioner, uh, 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 yeah. It would be commissioner level. IG mm. would be commissioner level, mm -hmm. and uh, ADG would be principal secretary level because mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, in the IPS after, uh, after, after 25, 25 years, years yes. you become ADG. Uh -huh. In the IAS you become principal secretary after 25 uh -huh. years. So. so so that means we don't have uh, an, uh, an equivalent of an additional chief secretary. <laughs> no, unfortunately, there's no equivalent in the <coughs> IPS. So you yeah, an additional DG who is in the uh, perhaps in the same uh, years of service, perhaps you can say. But otherwise, there's specifically no. There's no uh, specific post. Yeah, yeah. In the, in the bigger states, mm -hmm. in the because here, uh, once you are additional DG, mm -hmm. you are either DG or you remain mm -hmm. as additional DG yeah. like, till you retire. In bigger states, they have DG prison, DG home guard, DG uh, the civil defense like that. In bigger states? Yeah, in bigger states. No, actually the thing is there is a level between additional DG and mm. DG. There's, okay. a, there's one level in between in bigger states. Mm -hmm. Like if you are talking about the pay scales, mm. like there's a level 16 in bigger states, which oh. we don't have in our state. Okay. So that is why unfortunately there's mm. no, okay. like uh, when you complete 30 years, mm -hmm. unless you become DG, there's no more promotion after 30 oh. years. Whereas for the civil, mm. in 30 years, even if you're not CS, you can be additional CS. Okay, thank you so much for the, uh, you know, enlightening us with the hierarchy and all that. Sorry. Now. <coughs> Coming to a few things, um, and would you like to tell us something about, uh, I mean, to inspire people and to motivate them? Uh, would you, would you really encourage uh, youngsters uh, in the civil service line, or would you prefer that they pursue what they like? I mean, because I'm saying this because you have an, you know, an architectural background, yet you have joined the civil service. There are those who have left the civil service and pursue yes, their, I, you know, like their, their, their dreams, their you dreams. know? Dreams. <coughs> I think it depends on what you really want to do. Mm -hmm. Like if uh, there's no point staying in a service or doing something where your okay. heart and soul is not there, then mm. if you don't enjoy your work, okay. ultimately you end up getting frustrated and uh, it, becomes mm. a, it becomes unpleasant. Okay. Then you don't look forward to the day. <coughs> I feel that we should all do something which we look forward to doing at the every day, every morning. So if you're dreading going to work, it means that there's something wrong with your career choice. Oh. So, uh, <coughs> I mean, of course, in our career, there are some time, it is But that can depend on the postings also? Yeah, yeah. In our career, it depends on our postings also. Uh -huh. mm. But what I'm saying generally, okay. generally, like if you're not <coughs> in the civil service, like if you're doing something mm -hmm. else. So that is why people have, uh, maybe some people, they mm. don't enjoy the civil service, the kind mm. of work that we are doing. Yeah. So some have left. Okay. Uh, some of our senior officers mm. from the IES, they mm. have left. Some MCS officers, mm. they have left. So it depends. Mm. In other services also, we see people uh, applying for voluntary retirement or resignation. True. We have True. seen. We do come across we many do like come that. Across. So uh, what is your message to the youngsters uh, like who are aspiring to 
I know like um, to become civil servants or to be somebody big or to be a businessman or to be somebody like uh, looking forward to you know like their future with hope and aspirations what is the message to at the end of the day them, um, I feel it is your hard work which matters okay it does not matter what you have studied where you have studied it mm -hmm. is your hard work whether okay. it is whether you are uh, preparing for the civil service mm -hmm. or whether you are uh, doing uh, setting to looking to set up your own business okay. anything it requires hard work mm -hmm. we cannot expect results overnight there are some people who have uh, prepared for years for the civil service yes. there are some people who have gone through so much hardship before becoming successful in a business hard work and perseverance okay we should not give up just because sometimes we fail the first time <coughs> so it does not mean that we have to give up some people have taken years to mm, become successful true, true. but they may have bloomed late but they have really become successful at a later stage in their life so mm. i think perseverance is very important which unfortunately in today's age yeah. like many people are the youngsters especially they're starting to lack that so i feel that if we can uh, a lot of distractions yeah distractions mm. so i think uh, mm. there's so much I mean in our times we didn't have too many distractions <laughs> but <coughs> I think if you work hard and if you mm. persevere then okay. I think you can succeed So thank you for all the time that you have given to me uh, to my uh, channel Thank uh, you sir well, let's hope uh, we can again someday come to you for more on your architecture background <laughs> Thank you Anna Thank you sir mm.